It says, warnings. Keep out of the reach of children under six years of age. Don't you want to teach your kids to brush their teeth? Keep out of the... You can't give them toothpaste. But you're told that they need the fluoride so that they get healthy teeth and no cavities, aren't you? Well, listen to this. If more than is used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, mind you, kids don't have the capability yet of spitting out this toothpaste. If it's accident, but they flavor it like candy, they make it look like candy. If it's accidentally swallowed, get medical help or contact the poison control center right away. Did you know there was poison? They mark it, they tell you so. Hey guys, it's Jenny Guy Chichen here again. And welcome to another video. And, um, I'll be talking to you guys about this video you guys just finished and um, finished watching and it's really really interesting why I said it's interesting is that it tells us the other part of what we've been told like the the next phase of what we've been told uh, you know when you see an advert of a particular product automatically we tend to think that this advert for it to actually get on TV, for it to actually be marketed to us through the TV, the radio, or the media, it has to be authenticated, right? It has to have gone through the right approval phase. It has to have been approved. But um, one thing we don't know is that uh, we don't actually read. We don't actually read what's on the products. We just start using them the way we see it's been used on TV or how it's been explained for us to, to use it. The only time we go back to read the label is where we have a problem. So if there's no problem, ah, you're just fine. It's great. So far it's here on TV, it's the best product you can ever buy. So good for you. Nothing to be worried about. No health issues to be worried about. It's so great. But um, if you guys actually read, like the woman stated there, that do you guys know that children, um, uh, um, this has to be kept away from children? Do you guys know that? But you, you, most parents actually give the parent uh, their children this to brush your teeth with, and um, the, a child, a child might not actually understand why you shouldn't swallow something so sweet. Yeah, it, it's sweet. I could remember and at some point I actually then when I knew no better I actually do lick toothpaste. The reason why I do lick it is because it's so sweet. It's well sweet, they made it look like sweet, it made it look like candy. And there's some toothpaste that you're gonna put immediately you think you're gonna think it's candy straight away. And but it's not, it's actually toothpaste. And uh, we've been told that whatever is in this toothpaste is actually there to make us healthy, trying to give us strong teeth, uh, reduce cavity, and so on and so forth. But nah, that's not the real truth behind behind it. We we've been fed, we've been fed lies, we've been fed lies, and we've been fed lies so long that we're going to think it's true. So for a split second there, I would like you guys to go back to that video and rewatch it. Rewatch it so you guys can get every detail about what this one is, is trying to talk about because it's mind blowing. Like I said before, the country has a mental health problem. It has a mental health problem because for for this kind of thing to 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 reach um, the, the the public the public sphere and um, for for people not to actually notice something like this, it's mind blowing. It's mind blowing as such. When I th when I when I think about when I think about it, um, the, the, especially the labels of the chemicals being used on some products, I would see I would see something that nah, I'm not gonna take this. This ain't healthy. Like my mom, my mom used to ask me that why do I check the product that way? I said that's the way I know it, it's gonna be good for me. If it's um, 
if it's going to be good for me because there are some chemicals that are that actually in, in in these products that are actually straight harmful to 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 you and most people don't know most people don't know even if you 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 you, you have good grades in chemistry you might actually not even look at these things at all thinking that it's all good so since they make it look like candy and children might not have the capability not to swallow it and they told you if swallowed contact you see what they tell you to contact there yeah that should raise a big red flag that what the hell have i been feeding my kids with all the stuff so we the people actually need to open up our minds to every damn thing we see especially the things we buy in grocery stores not everything is good for you that's why like the best thing to do is to buy straight from the farmer's market and I, when i'm talking about the farmer's market i'm not talking about gmos gmos are actually are actually not 100 percent. i won't say those things are 100 percent real fruits because if you buy in a fruit without seed like you buy in a watermelon and that, they, they tell you this watermelon has been genetically modified not to have seeds it's crazy and you think that oh yeah it's so good i actually hate the seeds anyway i also hate the seeds when eating my watermelon but don't don't it scare you a bit for me it does and those things for me are actually not real fruits because the real fruit actually has seeds it comes with seeds with it so most people actually enjoy GMOs today. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for you. You guys need to do more research on on, on GMOs and you notice. So you see what they tell you to call them when when the child accidentally uh, swallow this this product. And yeah, most of us just think that this product is really safe, effective, and so on and so forth. So that's the problem here, guys. This is the real problem. We need to start looking at everything we consume. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Check this out. With the 165 billion we gave to Ukraine, mm -hmm. we could have built six border walls to stop illegal immigrants from pouring across our southern border. Mm -hmm. Could have fixed Flint's water system 215 times over. Easily. I like this one. Could have given every homeless vet $2 million. Holy shit. Could have given $50 million to every family impacted by the Maui wildfires. They got $700. They got $700 each. We got to get our priorities straight, buddy. According to HUD, they think it would take $20 billion.